that's a bit better. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sam and Mum with two boys. I couldn't see whether I'm focused. I need to get my eyes checked. It's on my next on my list of stuff that I need to do for myself. Um, in fact, I'm going to shut these, my glasses on, even if they're not quite the right prescription anymore. They do help. We need a clip. Oh, I've got a glass cloth here. Back in a sec. So I just thought I'd do a quick um, what I bought today in town. There is a second video coming to um, the Edinburgh thing, Rob, but it takes me a little bit longer to edit and I'm not quite finished. This is easier to edit. So I decided to throw that in the middle so I don't leave a big gap and get back out of the habit of uploading my videos. The amount of videos I filmed and not actually put out to you guys is unreal and I'm fed up of doing that. So I thought a quick one I can edit and get up. If you can hear Alfie in the background, I'm really sorry, he's playing with his friend online from school. Um, so I went to town today because me and Charlotte, which is my best friend, um, are taking the kids to Blackpool, a, a, a caravan site for the week. My dress is sat really funny because um, that collar's meant to sit right out there. Anyway, never mind. So I wanted some bits for that. I needed... I've got lots of bits from Home Bargains, but I have got some other bits. So, I needed some new flat shoes, some black flat shoes, um, and I couldn't find any. And in the end, I actually have these in grey, and I've worn them out to the point where the tip's completely gone, the sole. Um, so, I've got them in black because of uh, these were £20 from New Look. Um, I don't think these are a wide fit, but um, no, they're not, because the wides are a little bit too big on me at the moment. So, I've got those. From Superdrug, I didn't pick much up. Um, I did go in for a new powder, but I ended up not being bothered to look through the makeup. But I've picked up a new purple to do on this side. I will make it a little bit lighter than this, um, just with some conditioner and stuff. Um, but I thought we are going to give this one a go. Um, I picked up this one because it was on offer. It's, um, this, is it Shaw? Is that how you pronounce it? A dry foot skin mask. Um, this was was five ninety nine, which I would never have paid, but it was two pound fifty, and I thought, do you know what? It might be a better one, so let's give it a go. So I've got those, and I also got a deep treatment hair mask that is for curls, coils, and waves, because my hair is wavy slash curly. I do get ringlets and stuff if I'd style it that way, um, because I'm gonna do um a uh, what is it called a uh, Oh, a clarifying shampoo that's the word so i want a really good deep conditioner that is good for curls not got silicones in or anything else um so i also nipped in savers just to have a wander around because i was walking past i've picked these up these were like 80p they're little suede padded things and i wonder if they can go in the back of my doc martins um and then this is what i went in to look for my hands in the winter do what my heels do in the summer um, and they get really dry right around the tips and then they all crack and I thought they'd all healed but it's starting to crack again and at one point I had like six open wounds on my fingers and they're just healing so I've run out of the hand cream I was using from Lush and Scott recommended this one he said all the the lads use it out um, on the boats and stuff um, so I thought I'm going to give it a go and I actually found cotton gloves because I was saying to him in the summertime I put cream on with cotton socks on but I found some cotton gloves for a pound in savers so we're going to give those a go I have tried the hand cream and it is really good these are what I bought from Home Bargains I went a bit mad and crazy um, <laughs> and I don't know where to start let me just give me a sec actually I also bought this from savers for my head um, I'm going to give my head a good, real good massage and scratch when I'm shampooing it. I think that was 80p as well, actually. Or 90p. They were 89 pence or 90p. Okie dokie. I got some of... I've not I normally ordered them online, but I haven't ordered them. So these are little face shavers to shave all my, like, peach fluff off. Um, and I've been doing it for years now at least a year at least in fact there is a video on my channel the first time i very did very first time i did it and it's never grown back thicker it's never grown back darker or anything else but it just makes my makeup sit so much better and um, these were like 2.99 so those weren't bad i have 
uh, damp and mould and when everybody started saying about not putting the heating on I really wanted to make a video and then I just couldn't face making a video on it I run an electric dehumidifier in my house all winter near enough it's on all winter it clicks itself on and off uh, where I set it to a certain level um because I know that level kind of keeps the mould out especially from upstairs rooms it sits upstairs and that can pull out <laughs> sometimes if I've drying clothes, loads of clothes, had like a, a real long hot, hot bath and the steam everywhere and things like that. It can pull out litres and litres of water. But Dylan likes to shut his bedroom door. Um, so his windows get very wet and he's, his room still struggles because the door's shut. So this from, I've been buying these for years. They've been in this house five years and I've been buying them at least three, maybe four now. These dehumidifiers like the little plastic one this one i found is the best there is a kill nook or kill something one brand it looks exactly the same though um, and it works exactly the same this you get two lots you get two months in here and they're like 2.99 um and it it will fill this bottom thing with water dylan's needed redoing so i got those I got a couple of in fact there should be another lolly somewhere i got a couple of oh no i've smashed it to pieces uh-oh. It's Valentine's Day where we're at the thing about it. We went last year. Um went to a different one, but the same like brand or ownership, I think. Not sure. Anyway, so I've got some little confetti filled balloons and they look like little hearts confetti inside. And I made sure the actual confetti's in the balloons because I've noticed on some confetti balloons that asking you to fill them yourself. So I made sure. I did get them a couple of cards um, and I got, there is another chocolate lolly but I don't think Arthur will eat it, but I got some little candy lollies for the kids. Um, I got myself some vinyl gloves for dye my hair. Scott will love this because of I never ever have gloves in the house when I want to dye my hair and I saw them today and I thought you're coming home with me. <laughs> um, because I'm going to wait until after my holiday because of the pool and chlorine to dye it. So this side may end up blue before I come back home. Um, Spina gloves. Some new scrubby things because of Oz and Mankey. Um, I got, then I've got like loads of sweeties and chocolatey and other type bits. So I'm trying to eat better. Um, I'm watching my calories. What's the matter, sweetheart? Hello. You want to come and say hello? Yeah. I have to make sure you want to, yeah, cover that. Just hold it. You can't see anyway. Not been in the video for ages, have you? <laughs> but we'll film one while we're on, while we're going to the caravan, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, go on, because I've got tea in the I lost the tooth. You did. <laughs> That's a lovely close-up for them. <laughs> I'm watching my calories because I've put some weight on. I've put about a stone and a half on. I need to get it off. Um, and I love these. And these are only 160 calories a bag. The little Belle Vita minis. You can only buy them in home bargains. I've got some of these for Alfie's little lunchbox. They are little like, they're like fruit winders, but into like little bags with little sweeties. They look like, they say gum, soft gummy sweets, but they're made with fruit. Um, so I got some of those. They were 89p. Now it doesn't say how many packets in there, but there's at least, I would say seven or eight. And then this is what Alfie was looking at. I got, I wanted to do some baking while we're there, but it's really hard because you don't want to fill the cupboards with like all the flour and bits. So I picked these up. So this makes six little cookie mix and I got a brownie mix and I also picked up these, have I picked the American style one up? I think I have. I picked the American style one up to make like the big chocolate, these make chocolate chip like pancakes and then it's instead of paying out a fortune for sweets and stuff in the clubhouse I bought my own selection. Oh, there's the other lolly. I bought a chocolate one for Arthur because he's more likely to eat chocolate, but we shall see. Um, I didn't want to leave him out. I went and down the sweet aisle and I love it because you can get real cool bargains for little bits and pieces. So I've got five of these little like candy sticks that have got stickers in. There's minion. They're all I, I stuck with minions because the other ones are like male superheroes. Um, five for a pound. I then got some jawbreaker, like, I don't know if these are chewy inside or not. I can't remember whether they turn into chewing gum or not, but some little jawbreakers. These are four for a pound. These big, oh, 
I got a couple of these bigger lollipops. These were 25p, I think, something like that. I got a couple of Chubba Chop lollipops because these were 15p. And then I picked up this thing. This was £1.20, but it's got 11 packets of Haribo. And then I got some Mau Arm strips. Just stuff to go in the caravan and into the clubhouse for the kids. And I also got Dylan some chocolate raisins. Um, I think that was everything I picked up in town that was of interest. Um, I think I just went to Aldi after that just to get Dylan stuff because Dylan isn't coming. So, I hope you enjoyed my little mini haul. I will get back into regular uploads. I will, I will, I will. I'm feeling a bit better. If you'd have seen my Instagram quickly um, the other day, I ended up having um, emergency blood and an emergency chest x-ray. My heart is plucking up. I was really out of breath. Couldn't hold a conversation. Um, I could hold a conversation, but I was struggling breathing while holding a conversation. Um, my bloods came back what they, what they roughly expected on my heart function test because I've never had one before, so I've no baseline. Um, but the numbers kind of fit with the numbers of my echo. So they're not sure. My x-ray isn't back yet. And for some reason, I went to take my morning, uh, propan afternoon propanol and I thought, I wonder what the side effects of these are. Don't ask me why. No idea. Been on them since way before. I was on them before July when I was diagnosed with heart, the start of heart failure. So I was on them before then. So I've been on them a long time. Never thought to look at the side effects. Worsening of brief breathlessness in heart failure. Um, there was another one of breathlessness. There was something else. Um, it also interacts it, with the med interactions with my naproxen. Um, so I've half my dose basically because I was on, I was above the top dose of what was on the sheet. Um, so I was on a whacking dose. So I've halved it. Um, in fact, I've more than halved it. I've gone from 200 milligrams to 80 milligrams in a day. And I've been doing it three days and I feel, I think it's three days, or two days, I'm not sure. But I feel so much better in myself, which is amazing. So I'm hoping that team with uploading, we shall be back to normal. So thank you for watching. I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Goodbye.